All right, hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, and we're gonna do something that I've wanted to do for a while now, but kept getting audio errors and all kinds of nuts things, and you can kind of tell, and that's loud. I'm gonna turn that down even more. Um, but this is Dungeon of the Endless, and it's a game that my son weirdly turned me on to, and. I have beaten the game a grand total of one time on Super Easy, and you are on a prison transport. And it's attacked by something and blown up. So here are the different characters, and some of them you'll recognize some of them you probably will not. Some of them are locked. And some of them are, of course, from other games. But, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fun thing with random. Uh, I've unlocked the second pod, but this one you have no health regen. So like I said, I have only beaten the game on too easy, so we're gonna go ahead and play an easy game. This game is no far easy. My son has it down to a formula, which is kind of no fun, but there's a whole lot to unpack in this game. So we got two people. See, we've got uh, Sarah Numas, who is a swordsman, famous bounty hunter. And then we've got Nurse Dina Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet. Got it. Okay. And she's got your back. Don't slow down the hero. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so I forget. Bear with me a minute. Uh, options. Okay. So there are, there's industry, there's science, and there's food. And basically every time you open a door, those can go up or down, depending on what you're doing. Or they, sorry, they always go up. Don't listen to me. So for instance, we're here, and we've got enough industry that we're going to build an industry generator, which will make that go from a five... Now it goes up to an 8. So we will make, we spent industry, we will now make more every time we open the door. The, <clears throat> the thing that we need are these little coins, which power rooms. So we are now powering one room of three that we can. For every 10 coins we collect, or dust, we can power another room. So we're going to go ahead and... And every time you open a door in rooms that are dark, there will may be enemies. And then you can right click to turn power on or turn power off as you need to. We're fine, so we're gonna keep going. Okay. Kinda not helpful right now. I mean, that would be really cool to get. I don't think we're going to get it by the end of the first level, though. Alright, so... So we're going to turn the power on. 
So this may be my fallback spot. So every time it branches, there's a chance that you could end up with all kinds of stuff. What do we get? Got a prison uniform. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and give it to her. She's Mamele. For now, we're gonna turn the light on in that room. Actually, we're not. So do we have enough to level up? We do not. We need 30 on her. Yeah, we need 30 on her. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and open this door. And that's a shopkeeper. Okay, so nothing spawned, so we're good. Oh, but he uses science. Oof. What does the tear gas module do? Oh, this gas canister. Applies damage per second to monsters in the same room. Okay, that's only good if we've got the other ones. Gun. Okay, so we'll hold off because we might want to come back and get. We might want to come back and get that. Yeah, some things just do not care about you. So we can turn this one on. We can now build a science generator, which may or may not be worth it depending on how long this level is. And you can scroll out and get this view, which is nice because that way if you want to turn places on or off, you can do that. So I'm pretty sure this is going to loop around. And see things spawned in this room because it was dark. So. So we're going to hold on to that door. because we don't have enough coins right now. Okay, and we're gonna build one, just a little, little helper here. And he'll shoot things that walk into that room. Just a little bit of a help. Okay, lots of bad guys. More bad guys there, okay. So see, he's going to help us shoot things. Oh, we need to get her out of there. Yeah, people can die really easy. Okay, we've got enough to... I don't have a lot of you, though. You can now heal people in the room, which becomes important. You automatically heal back once combat ends. But if you're not. Okay. We get enough yet? 
No, we need 65. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. We might be able to get some more stuff out of the... Okay, so we'll turn that room on. We might build a... I think it's too late to build a food replicator. Because normally the first level isn't that big. We'll build it. We'll, we'll, we'll save it and build it next level. Okay, and there's our exit. So we got our exit. That's 29, that'll leave me... Oh, I missed what that said. Oh well. So we're gonna... Actually, that's, that's not that great of an upgrade. I mean, it is at this level, but it's not. Okay, she uses handguns. There are a handful of different weapons in the game. Alright, so the problem is that we don't really have... We can turn that off. The other cool thing is that if we were to, say, try and build this, I think this is the only one that would be kind of useful for me, my playstyle. Um, This is useful when we get more people, but we're going to get the smoking gun for now. Because then we're going to bring everybody down here. And no bad guys. Okay. So bad guys will come, and they will come quickly. Turn that off. I'm gonna turn those on. I'll let that one side of it. Okay. So normally it would take round a bunch of doors to do the research, but because we only had one door left, we now get to use this. do a dumb little thing. Not advisable, but... <clears throat> Why not? Okay. The thing I always do is always try and leave enough industry to build at least one of the production things of the generators as soon as you get to the next floor because that first door a lot of times can just break you. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. So now we've got to get that little thing up to here. So that's what we're doing. 
and because she is not slowed down by monster oh apparently this thing is really heavy so that means that she's gonna she's gonna start walking really slowly so we're gonna go oof and then we're gonna run We're gonna go. No, 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 no. Oh. See, this is why you don't screw around. I thought that was the exit room. So screwed now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well... <sighs> Sorry, I gotta ignore you for now. Once again, eaten up by science, but you know, it's not worth it. Not on this run. What did you want? You wanted 30, 39. Pushed it. Good job. What can you do? Uh, okay. I don't really. Oh, he's got the thing. Okay, so he's got this ability, which is the operate, which means it adds his wits to the thing as long as he stays there. So we're probably gonna do this. Just kind of call it a day there. Is that weapon can he use? He uses a pistol too. Great, great, great. Just great. Attack power increased. a really small room. I don't like that. <laughs> I still don't have enough dust to turn on any more lights. So, yeah. I'll stop there. Got 
five dust. Still not enough to turn anything on. So, yay. Another door down. Alright. Great. Just great. Oh, and those guys, if I remember right, just run straight to your core. Come on, buddy. Why did you stop there? I'm telling you. Oh, I can light up one more room? Thank you. Thank you for not being helpful. Some runs just do not want to help out. Really important. Okay, I have a room. Oh. Nope. I don't have a room where that can be helpful yet. Monsters? Oh, they're coming. They're just really slow. done that one too early. Okay, that is the end of that area. Fire. So now we're just gonna...
that done. Oh yeah, and every time they hit that, you lose thing, so... So now, I can power four rooms. This is... See, we don't have enough firepower. Thank you for the auto dock shards. Completely useless now. And this is how the world ends. So, just so you know, uh, that was level two. Made it to level two. Uh, and admittedly, that was kind of my fault. Um. But there's, there, there is an actual story to the game, it's kind of interesting. Um, there's multiplayer, there's an album that has information in the game, there's the journal which has more information in the game, options, credit, and then of course quit. So there you go, I finally got it done, Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, this is a game that I pick away at from time to time, but it's so soul crushing that I can only do like one run at a time, and then I kind of have to move on. But uh, that's it for me. Uh, thank you much for watching, and as always, play on! <laughs>